Hello everyone. Welcome to Julia Hinjung's Cottage Stories. So let's make a tunic shirt or top. Uh, for this I taken my a scarf. Uh, this is a not a scarf. This is a dupatta uh, and it's only 2 meter length. So it's available in all the shops but I want to make it for as a tunic top. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will use the basic body patterns. These basic body patterns I will use. So I place the basic body pattern over this. So these are four layers. So from here I fold it into half. Then make it straight because I'm uh, working on a bed. It will not be more perfect alignment. So you have to align it very perfectly. Then from here, fold it. Okay, fold it. So this from here to here, we will uh, use it as for the sleeves. Uh, so here, when I place this, so this is a basic body pattern. It has the same absolute fixed fix uh, our fixed uh, size. So we need to add uh, 1.5 inch or 2 inch seam allowance. So it is the top. I will add 2 inch seam allowance. So from here, uh, I need to cut 2 inch. Uh, I will take 2 inch. Extra. I need to get 2 inch extra. Okay, I'm getting 2.5. Okay, more than enough. And also, whether check with how much uh, you are getting for the sleeves. 14 inches. Okay, I need 14 inches. So I will cut it like this. Okay, uh, I will draw from here, from here. It will be like this. Okay. So I will draw like. Like this, okay. So this is bag. This is for the bag. I just draw and I'm going to cut this portion out for the sleeves. And also I want to I want two strips okay I want two strips to attach to the neck okay this is a tie neck tie uh, knot collar it's a tie knot collar neck a V collar okay so from here I will cut so this uh, portion four four pieces I will get I will join and I will make it as a straight strip uh, the width of the strip is 3 inches this is a, for the puffed sleeves this is the sleeves okay we can cut the sleeves later or now okay I am going to cut now what you have to do is uh, how much you needed for the sleeves width? Nine. Okay, of uh, nine. From here, you just need you need nine, and you will only get from here. You will because I cut that strip so off because this is only okay. so from here. What I, I I have to do is I'm just making it as a very curvy. So I will. Get a more puff to this, and from here, three and a half or four, like this. So, here, this portion full, I will make the puff and like this. Okay, so 
So there is no definite perfection or definite measurement I am going to do it. And from here, I will cut it. So from here, I will make a, a give the gathering here, and uh, I will fix uh, any uh, the same. Or from here, I will get some cloth that I will fix on the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, so cut it like this. If you have shortened uh, width of the sleeve, you have just, just width of the sleeve is short, so you just make this tip, make it as a curl like this. So when you gather, gather, it will be when well, you will have more puff and you can attach with you. Okay, then here also I will make the puff. So since it is a jointed cloth, it's not so easy to cut and make the patterns. So uh, keep it aside and you can cut like this okay then take the front pattern out and you can also cut but the front pattern basic body pattern and back body pattern is very different so what you have to do is just cut the it into two pieces Take it and we have already draw our back pattern. Okay, take it and our back pattern neck is we can make it as again we can modify our neck like uh, two inches or uh, it is a collared neck or a V neck. Okay, it's nice collar. So I will make it as uh, one inch. Okay. One inch and like okay. then cut it. Our back pattern is ready. And uh, cut the front pattern. So take your front pattern, <coughs> and place it. So this is my front pattern. But beware that I am not just getting only this much extension because I have used back pattern because I need more extension for this front pattern. Anyway, I am trying to get my maximum. So learn a lesson you must take according to the front pattern you have to take and cut out the fabric and not the not with the back pattern reference and draw it okay draw it just draw the neckline also so neckline we will make it as V neck so how much we need just take it as V neck I need 6.5 6.5 so from here I will make it 6.5 straight V neck so this is our front pattern ok so then uh, because it is very transparent I want lining also so I will cut the lining from this fabric and I will join with these pieces okay and then I will show you what to do next uh, using this uh, pattern back neck, back neck, neck depth is very less and we cannot uh, we need more for the front neck uh, in order to because we are not uh, giving any opening okay why because make it align friend pattern so i've taken six point half it's not enough i need uh i will tell i need 
So I am taking 7.5. Okay. This is 6.5. So I'll take 8. Okay, I'll take 8. Like this. So then I'm cutting out the And uh, in both pieces, so these constitute of four layers now. Um, where are you going? So, what I have told you in the beginning that I am uh, going to make a tie, uh, make a strip like this, join the pieces, and make a strip like this, then join here. Um, but actually, this uh, top is not having any pleats. Okay. So, if I don't have any opening here, it will not be comfortable for you. So, I have to make an opening and make it as a shirt. And here, in the front, I will have an opening, a slit. Or else, I need to make two slits over here. So, better I make it as a shirt. What I need is, I will cut here. Okay, I will cut here and I will hem the v-neck the v-neck i will hem it and also this pieces i will make it as for the blanket this uh, button blanket and uh, button blanket right black blanket this blanket uh, i will make okay so let me cut in the middle of this piece so we have got an opening in the front portion that is we make it as a shirt model and then i need to sew it together then i need to make blanket the exposed blanket like this okay then the exposed bracket inside so it will expose and it will the black so i will fix the button over here and button hole also button loop here a button here and the loop here okay then i will fix the sleeves and i'll hem here okay then i will hem here i will fix the sleeves join the sides and roll hem okay all these things i will do and i will show you the final outcome so you can see i have finished this top uh, you can see it's having the v neck and I fixed the button so I have told you uh, I changed the plan of uh, fixing the tie and uh, I, uh, I hope you understood what I mean by ties uh, we just uh, fix a just a straight strip and just uh, and uh, from here to here okay then we will tie it so I stopped because it has not pleats and it's not um, so I not be able to wear it comfortably uh, so I opened the front and fixed the buttons and also here uh, I gave a slit okay so somewhat tight for me not tight uh, I need so much comfortable so put a slit and because you have seen my dupatta was very uh, short only two meter and also I made a puff the sleeves from it and 14 inch length okay and the end I covered okay secured with another straight piece uh, okay so uh, I have unsecured in the inside stitches with the, uh, some cross bias <laughs> yeah uh, see uh, see some cross bias because uh, I I I want I I sewed till the end edge point okay anyway I got a very good top okay it's looking good and also after uh, fixing this you can see after fixing here this blanket okay you know how to fix a button this blanket it is exposed and this blanket it is inside and then i made with the cross by strips i made the hemming then i okay finished it okay that's and the for the sleeves i haven't fixed the lining because i need the lining okay uh, so 
because when we what we are getting from the malls and the online shops we it is not having the lining because that uh, it's, it's a george it's a george chiffon george just sorry george chiffon not she george type see i fixed the lining okay um, everything is suit together okay okay that's all about my video you can also try this pattern at your home with your old dupatta okay plain or printed any anything we can use it okay so i hope you like my video i'll come with a next variety video creative video okay uh, so subscribe my channel like this video share it with your friends and relatives okay see you in the next video bye take care god bless